Hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I just want to talk to you today about um, Peter. Uh, after the resurrection, uh, Peter made the comment in, in John chapter 21 that he was going to go back fishing. Um, it's John 21 verse uh, 3. He says, I'm going fishing. And a lot of people get the idea, well, he just means that he's he's going to go over here and go fishing and... and uh, you know, let's go on a fishing trip, or you know, like you would say to a friend, you know, hey, let's 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 go camping, or let's go fishing, or let's go, you know, for a boat ride, or. But what he's saying here is, he's going fishing. He's going back to his profession of fishing, and when you understand that in this context, um, and then you understand the Greek. Uh, a little bit about when Jesus and him were interacting, um, you're going to see this maybe in a little different light than you've seen it before. He's going fishing. He's going back to his profession. And notice he's go back, he goes back to his profession, and what happens? Nothing. He doesn't catch anything. Jesus comes back on the scene and says, Hey, you know, throw your net over the other side of the, of the boat. Well, here's professional fishermen. You know, they, they know how to fish. That's how they made, he, he made his livelihood that way. And yet he caught nothing. But Jesus says, put the net on the other side. And then he catches more than he can, he can handle. All right. Well, then they, after breakfast, go down here to verse uh, 15. Um, so, so when they had, when they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Now, if you look up the, the Greek word there, love, Jesus is using the word agape. Uh, do you unconditionally love me more than these fish? And Peter's answer to him is, yes, Lord, you know that I phileo you. I love you like a brother. Now, see, when you look at it in English, you see, you know, Simon, uh, son of John, do you love me? And Peter's saying, yes, I love you. But when you get to the Greek, when you break it down, you see a, a deeper meaning here. Jesus is asking Peter, do you agape me? Do you have an unconditional love for me? more than these fish? Do you love me more than these fish? Unconditionally. And Peter answering on the level that he had understanding, he says, you know I love you like a brother. And so Jesus said, well, you know, if that's the case, then tend to my lambs. Um, so then a second time then, you know, why did he ask the second time? See, if you say, you know, do you love me? Yes, I love you. Well, that should answer it. But see, Jesus is wanting to bring him to a new level. The first question is, do you agape me? Do you unconditionally love me? And when Peter responded, he said, I love you like a brother, which prompted the question again, okay, but, you know, he says, tend my lambs, but, but Peter, do you agape me? Do you, do you unconditionally love me? Now, Peter's going here and he's saying, yes, you know, second time. He says, you know that I love you like a brother. Okay, so he's saying, unconditionally loving him. And Peter's responding, I love you like a brother. And so Jesus is saying, well, you know, if, if you love me like a brother, shepherd my sheep. You know, basically what he's saying here is, why are you going back fishing? If you love me like a brother, you'd take care of my business. So Jesus said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you phileo me? Now, Jesus is coming down to Peter's level and even asking him if he loves him like a brother. All right? He's wanting to bring Peter up to agape, to the unconditional love, which Peter stated the phileo, brotherly love stage. So Jesus comes down to that stage and he says, do you even love me like a brother? 
Now, what's it say here? You know, after this third time, um, he says, you know, do you file me? He said to him, Lord, you know all things, and you know that I, I file you. I love you like a brother. And so Jesus said, tend to my sheep then. If, if you, even if you love me like a brother, then tend to my sheep. See, do, do we love in, in, in that realm? I mean, we, we look at this and we see this many times and I hear, you know, preachers and, and a lot of people talk about this, you know, do you love me? And they, and they give a lot of reasons for it. But, but Jesus is wanting to bring us to that unconditional love level. And what he's telling Peter says, hey, even if you love me like a brother, you take care of my business. I mean, if, if, if you love me like a brother and I had, I had things that needed to be done, and, and I was your brother, you'd take care of those things for me. Well, I've got things for you to take care of. Will you take care of them? Just wanted to share that with you and, and show the, the deeper meaning here of, of what Jesus was really talking about here when he's talking about love with, with Peter. I'm seeing that a lot of people you know, rush through this and don't really study to show themselves approved, rightly dividing the word of truth. We need to know the truth of God's Word. We need to study to show ourselves approved. Workmen need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the Word of truth. Do you love Him even as a brother?